Hello and welcome to the Year 6 PowerPoint on what we are learning this year. Our aims for this PowerPoint are to support parents and carers in understanding the new learning that will happen in this year, to build stronger links between home and school, increasing the understanding of school practices and explain some ways in which you can help your child in their learning this year. So what is the new learning in English? Um, what you can see on the screen now is part of an example of the writing that we would expect in English. And if I just go on one slide, you'll see how much writing actually children are expected to write in Year 6, which is an improvement uh, from Year 5 and a uh, bigger expectation in terms of what they're writing to. So if I go back to some of the things that are on there. So <clears throat> there is an expectation that they'll use punctuation correctly at all times. The sentence structure is really important. We'll be we added things in like making sure we're using subordinate clauses to write complex sentences, to use a passive voice where appropriate, um, to use things like expanded noun phrases, and there'll also be an increase in the use of semicolons and dashes and colons um, also to um, show the boundary in independent clauses and also to use hyphens and other wide range of punctuation. The main expectation is that they would be using a range of all these kind of skills that they have learnt over the last uh, few years and become uh, experts in them um, so that their writing becomes uh, fluent, that their writing is interesting and it shows a good control of what it is that they're trying to say to the audience. A big part of English is obviously reading. There's some examples of some books uh, that might be of interest to Year 6 children. Um, also, there's a website <clears throat> there where you might be able to search for the books if you're looking for something that uh, would interest your children too. Um, in reading there's a big emphasis on um, inference um, in terms of reading between the lines from children trying to put their point of view across and give opinions but also using the text as um, evidence in there. So it's a bigger uh, emphasis on them really showing their understanding of what it is that they've read um, and also understanding kind of the author voice in that too and that's something that we'll practice throughout the year in order to get the children really confident in that. So the new learning in maths um, there's some examples of some of the questions that the children might encounter in maths um, they will also learn to look at numbers up to 10 million, um, which is a big increase in terms of the place value and those expectations. There'll be things like uh, rounding uh, numbers to decimals. Um, there's also um, knowledge of the operations, as well as now there's an expectation that they will be doing multiplying four digit by two digit and dividing a four digit by two digit. So they will be using other methods like long multiplication, long division, um, as alongside the methods that they've already learned in terms of multiplication and division previously in year five. Um, they will be learning to not only add and subtract fractions with different denominators and mix numbers, but they'll also start to learn to multiply and divide fractions uh, too, and also by whole numbers. Um, they'll also be learning a lot more um, techniques in terms of uh, calculating percentage of whole number and also algebra as well. In the top right hand corner of the screen there, you can see an algebra question, um, whereas children might have experienced that as uh, missing box questions in the past. They're now experiencing them as a letter. Um, the other curriculum learning that they will be doing um, in the autumn term, we focus on Tudor Warwickshire. Um, we will be looking at uh, not only the local area, but also the history 
and in terms of significant events that happened in the Tudors and what that's meant to the world today. In the spring term, we'll look at World War II. Um, and then in the summer one, we'll be looking at Marvellous Mountains and then going on to looking at Raging Rivers. Um, how can you help at home? Think reading with your children as often as possible, asking questions about the text or pictures where possible too. Um, it's really important to read lots with the children. The more widely read the children are, um, the it will help with their writing. It will also help with them answering questions in the reading papers also. I think key bit is ensuring your children knows their times tables. They, was they took the times tables test in year four, um, times tables are very much a thing that unless they keep practicing, they will lose that knowledge. So it's really important they do regular practice of times tables so that kind of thing comes quickly to them. Supporting your child with their homework. At the moment, the children will be getting um, spelling and maths homework, but obviously after Christmas or so, we'll be expecting the children to do more homework in terms of revision uh, ready for their SATs. Um, really important this year, let us know if they're struggling in a particular aspect of school so we can work to resolve it quickly. And then also helping them learn the year five and six statutory spellings and understand what they mean. There is an expectation in the writing that they would be spelling those correctly in their work, but also using them in a creative um, way in their writing. This is one workshop. There are lots of other workshops on the um, St John's uh, primary site and also on the YouTube channel that you can catch up with and have a look there. And obviously you'll be able to watch this on, you're watching this on the website, but you can also catch it up with on the YouTube channel too. I hope this proved useful to you and thank you for taking the time to look at it.